A very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you so very much for tuning in to the Life Signatures Radio from whatever place it is. This is a daily show on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. By God's grace, we've been able to cover every working day with an episode. Who does that only by the power and the grace of the Almighty God? And we are continuing to talk about, discussing about this subject matter, the subject matter of raising spirit-led children. How do you know you're raising a spirit-led child? How do you know? How sure are you? Do you really want, I mean, in the first place, do you want to raise a spirit-led child? Those are some of the questions that we need to be grappling with. But if you want to do so, this episodes this series are giving us some pointer so you can start going back to episode number 18 19 there and start looking at the things that we discussed today we're gonna go deeper uh, even as we continue to discuss this matter and i'm loving this series stay tuned <music> Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Let us continue. Let us continue to do this. Let us continue to talk about raising a spirit-led child. Yesterday we talked about unwanted success where it is possible for us to succeed at very many things. I mean, when we set our minds on something, it's possible for us to go to a level of success. But then when we get there, we don't want the success. Someone, I think someone said that success is getting what you want and wanting what you get, something of that nature. We've talked about mental illnesses resulting even in the arenas or areas where we see people and we, we, they think that they have made it. We think that they have made it, but they feel empty. What is the crux of the matter? The crux of the matter is that they concentrated on the structure, the shell, but neglected the core, which is the spirit. And spirit is what I'm going to, you know, differentiate today so that we can be able to understand this deeper and uh, get to know. Uh, earlier on, actually, in episode number 1820, I should say, I think I, I talked about this and I say that we make a mistake when we think spirit has to do with piety, piousness, you know, piety, walking around with your hands clasped around your chest like this and saying namaste namaste bowing down and you know being as docile and as gentle as a dove ha you have missed it spirit is also aggressive spirit is fire spirit is fiery Uh, spirit is is life spirit bursts out spirit is like a whirlwind sometimes that is what spirit is all about. It is not some docile thing that can be overlooked and, and, and so on. You will know that your success is authentic. Let's talk about that further. That your success is authentic when it has the following things. We're going to talk about that in this episode. Number one, you will know that your success is not ego And I need to camp here for a minute. Because all of us have our own definition of success. And it's laudable, for example, when I learn to play the guitar. 
that is success that's an element of success it's laudable when i graduate with a degree or a masters or a certificate it's laudable when i have my startup and it starts and it it brings in the first million it's laudable when i write my first book and it goes and it's on the top best seller list these are different elements of success these are goals being attained and we should load this it is much it is a million times better than doing nothing it's a million times better to accomplish some things than confusing and saying i can't do that because it's not related to the spirit you'll be wrong spirit is involved in nearly everything now you will know that your success is spirit led or the success of your child is spirit led or the raising and the parenting of your child is spirit led when the success that comes in is not selfish it has impacted others this is the litmus test of success it has an impact on other people it reaches out to other people it changes it transforms it it makes better it is spirit ego i don't want to go to ego immediately but ego for for the most part it is selfish it is self-centered you accomplish for the sake of the accolades for the sake of the likes for the sake of uh, the toast you the toast of town and so on there's nothing wrong with people toasting and saying oh that guy wrote a book that's a life changing okay now life changing is is an impacting but that guy wrote a book you know if if i do my success with that in mind as a priority i have already missed the bill i've already missed the bus so the first yardstick that you and i can measure our success to find that this success that we are reveling in this success that we've loved is number one spirit led and if it is spirit led then it is not selfish it is not inward looking of course the outward looking success starts from the in- inside and we we've got to build a, an inward foundation because before we can go outward and develop but if my success is chiefly for the sake of me feeding me reveling in me feeding on that particular success if it's chiefly that chances are that it's not related to spirit chances are that it's coming from a different place which is not spirit because ultimately i can tell you this without uh, fear of contradiction ultimately at the end of the day when all is coming to a close the success that will be worth telling anybody will be the one that changed someone's heart someone's life someone's family made an impact in someone else's life that is success that the bible says it's like the wax that when they are tested by a fire they will not be burnt up they will still be precious like refined like gold all our works the bible tells us they are going to be changed i mean they're going to be tested by fire and i don't know if it's an allegory i don't know if it's a metaphor i don't know if it's a re- it's going to be real fire but the point is that at the end of the day there is something that is unwanted success which comes not from the spirit but then there is something that is wanted success that comes from the spirit how does it look like the first thing it looks like is others in fact i do think that the highest level you know when you look at uh, abram maslow is it maslow is, is he called abram maslow maslow's pyramid he talks about self actualization being the 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 highest level of achievement self actualization ha no let me tell you this the highest place the highest level that you can be able to attain you know what that is 
it is when we are a blessing to others and the problem with abraham maslow's pyramid is that you have to wait and wait until you're 80 until you have a foundation the life signatures foundation or the lawrence damale foundation that's when i can start making an impact in people's lives nah that is maslow's approach it is wrong is he needs to start from spirit and spirit starts from anywhere spirit starts from uh, uh, the the moment in time where we're able to make decisions where god can judge me and say that this is wrong and i know it is wrong that's where spirit begins and even before that and i'm just talking about consciously consciously it begins from that particular point in time and from that particular point in time my pursuits in life should have an element of gearing towards others Why am I going to school? Why am I cramming all these things that I'm cramming? What am I, why am I doing? What is the ultimate end? What is the ultimate result? It has got to be related to impacting, contributing, changing, growing, making this world a better place. Like I've said, I've coined it into this word, into this name life signatures. It has got to be a life signature. What is a life signature? It is a life lived, leaving a legacy behind. What is a legacy? Something that is impactful to other people in a positive way. And why is that? That is the way we human beings are. We've been created to come here on the face of the earth to impact, to contribute, to make an impact. That is how spirit operates. That is how the spirit operates. So the very first yardstick that you can be able to use to measure your success is the yardstick of impact to other people. That is what spirit-led success is all about. So m- m- someone might ask, how about I just I succeed but I can't quantify, I can't see the impact that is it has made to other people now you're going to know this because there are, there are some successes that you know this is just selfish you want a third car a fourth car you know that is just selfish uh, I, i saw on the news this week that there's a certain celebrity who jumped into her private jet from the united states of america and they flew over to france at a particular restaurant and bought a particular piece of food from the menu because that's what they they, are, they were craving for and then they flew back to the united states of america now let me say state this there is absolutely nothing wrong with that if you have the means to do it nothing i i i'm not going to even fault you where the problem is is when you start peddling that as success in our yardstick today we've said that it has got to have an impact in somebody else's life that's whatever it is that you're calling success it's got to have an impact in somebody else's life if it doesn't have an impact in my life in someone else's life from the matters related to the spirit it cannot be called success a hundred times no a million times no it cannot be called success if there is no impact in someone else's life if there's no impact not just in someone else's life it could be impact in uh, reptiles uh, whatever it could uh, impact in the environment impact in the oceans impact in the community impact in whatever it is just the fact that it is outward looking it blesses as in the world rejoices because you are successful why because they feel your success they feel your impact that is the first yardstick to a life of success so if you're le- leading and you are discipling and you are educating a spirit led child when you're teaching them about success this has got to be impacted in there that at the end of the day when the curtain comes to a close of their lives they should be proud or people should be proud that they actually lived they had an impact they contributed in one way or another so a, a spirit led child starts looking from the angle of whatever it is that i'm doing doesn't matter i'm dancing i'm a dancer 
How is this impacting other people? And those of us who are in the Christian circles, we normally call, we normally say, it brings glory to God. What does that mean? Bringing glory to God means living the way God intended for you to live, impacting the way God intended you to impact. Tomorrow we go deeper. Until then, bye bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.